Hi, I'm Neil of Team Teacher, teaching living and raising a family in China. In this class, we're looking at a fast food PowerPoint lesson. Let's check it out. As always, I start my classes with the rule slide where I go over the rules and uh, we do some drills and TPR and I remind the students if they follow the rules, then we get to watch a fun video at the end of the class. So this class is aimed at younger students. It's in my public primary school, so the early grades. Uh, so it's very basic and we just go along following PPP. So how this works. So I've got a whole bunch of different food and I get the students to point out food that they know and they can tell me what it is. So for example, this one, I'll have them come up, tap the screen and it reveals that it's pizza, then we all uh, repeat pizza and I ask them if they like pizza. Sometimes I will go into trying to elicit different types of pizza, uh, the colors of pizza uh, and stuff like that. But I will be covering that later in the class, so I don't always go into that. Uh, this one's just kind of drilling, getting the pronunciation down, asking them if they like it or not. With candy, I actually do introduce different types. Uh, so we've got the sweets, which is what we say in the UK, and candy, which is what they say in America. And I just throw that in there uh, because I, later on in the class, I'll ask them uh, if the sweet is UK or USA. Uh, but it does come up quite a bit, so I, I generally like to introduce it. Then in a book, they have a scenario where you have a server and you have a customer. Uh, the server says, can I help you? The customer says, may I have a blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I'll generally ask students to put up their hands or who wants to speak. And I'll get two students to come to the front very quickly. And I'll get one of them to be a server. And I'll get one of them to be uh, a customer. So one will say, can I help you? And the other will say, may I have a pizza? And we'll just run for those little, those little role plays. And then I start to add numbers as well. So may I have 10 pies, 11 pies? And it gets a bit silly and the students want to say, then I will ask, can I help you? And I'll see what students can say. They'll generally throw, may I have uh, a hundred cakes, for example. So it's, it's pretty funny, um, but it's just a quick little role play that we go over. And then we do this fun little fast food wheel game. <laughs> this one, the, the wheel rotates and I ask the students to tell me when to stop so they all shout out stop and it stops here at hamburger they have to choose the correct word they can either say it or if they're very low level they can put up their hand and come to the front and tap on the screen but then obviously I'd make them repeat the word as well So after going through that particular game, uh, then I'm going to ask an open-ended question. Um, my question is, what do you like? And I like, and I really like to emphasize the S here. Uh, so I like hamburgers, I like pizzas, I like cakes, I like pies. You can say I like pizza, I like pie. Um, and that's, that's fine, but I they don't often get to use that S at the end. So I like it just to have that alternative uh, in order for them to practice that S sound and get used to that with using uh, like and expressing their preferences. So I'll have a whole bunch of different students uh, put up their hands and tell me what they like and stuff like that. And once that starts to peter out, we're gonna go into a song. But the song is uh, a combination of generally like fruit or some other food item plus a fast food item. And it's yes I do or no I don't. So I do like a quick 
pre-teach of uh, the sort of lyrics that they're going to be covering because it does kind of go a bit fast at times and then we go into the song of broccoli ice cream so it's very funny because they're adding food items with these sweet fast food items junk food sweet food uh, etc and it, it kind of a bit funny and there's multiple versions of this song as well the first one that i use generally is broccoli ice cream back from that song we're going to read a story called mud pie so i will point out that uh, there's a picture here and that's what i use to talk about mud when i say mud i'm talking about you know like where the the trees are the flowers are uh, the plants are uh, asking the students what color is mud can you eat mud so i do a lot of eliciting and trying to uh, concept check uh, what mud is for them and then we go straight into the story so we repeat the story together and any sort of vocabulary that I don't think they know I point it out with the story because it's already really visual so like water and sand sand they probably don't know um, so you know I will say sand on the beach by the sea uh, make sandcastles, any and all vocabulary that I can think of that will help clarify what sand is to them. And mix is pretty simply just kind of putting your hands together. A lot of this story is very visual, so I'm not so worried about the vocabulary here, uh, as I think they'll be able to follow it along visually, and we'll also repeat the words as well. But we can always go back to that at a later date when they're a bit more advanced. And then we have the questions. Here they've got multiple choice of what the item is. And this one is actually not different uh, food choices. So it's not hamburger, pizza, or ice cream. It's different spelling. So at this point, they're actually starting to learn more of the reading aspect of English. So I try to add more uh, sort of spelling differences. Correct! And then I'll do another uh, song that's uh, like broccoli ice cream. Uh, I think there's another version, there's a couple more. And we all sing and dance. And then we go back to another fun game that's in the style of... <laughs> And here they want to eat the ice cream, so they have to tell me that ice cream is... <coughs> and their purpose is to try and move through and get the, uh, the ghost in the middle. <coughs> After that game, we start looking at combinations. So we've done that song a couple of times now where they've combined a food with one of these fast food items. So now I'm starting to get them to try and think about combining uh, things together. So I might say broccoli ice cream, good, bad, not yummy, yummy. And they'll generally say no. And I'm, I'll say things like uh, pizza pizza. And they'll say no. I think I'm trying to ask them to come up with different variations of word combinations uh, with, for new food items. And you know, I give them points on that. And it really gets them thinking and it gets them excited because they get to use vocabulary that they've already known and they've learned a way to combine these different words as well. So these are a couple of examples that I have up banana cake, but you can have apple cake. Uh, etc apple pie uh, peach ice cream orange ice cream uh, whatever and we'll also do like a general consensus because some students will say stuff like hamburger ice cream and then i can use that and ask other students is hamburger ice cream uh, good or bad do you like hamburger ice cream so it kind of gets things a little bit more interactive and i can set them in pairs and try to come up with, uh, get them to 
you know, like draw and come up with different food item combinations. And then we can kind of present this and talk about this and it gets fun and is creative. Now, if this uh, is, is a bit too short because maybe it's too advanced for them, I do have backup hidden picture game. So this one, they have to identify what is the fast food item, but it's within the costume uh, for dogs. So it always gets a bit of a laugh when they see like animal hamburgers, animal cats, pizza dog, etc. And then I have a grid game where they use plurals with uh, the different food items that they've learned. So one hamburger or four, etc. They get points or sometimes they get a bomb where they lose points for their team. And that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. And remember to check the link below to download your free PPT copy of the lesson. Bye-bye.